One of the hard parts about being a dividend focused YouTuber is trying to appeal to the many different kinds of dividend investors out there. Too many, Rick. Too many. Well, in my attempt to do just that, welcome back to the Power 5 Stocks of the Week. In this series, each week I present you all with the top performers in the following categories. Dividend yield, dividend streak, dividend growth rates, 10-year returns, and the stock trading the highest percentage off of their 52-week high. All of these stocks will have an ex-dividend date of next week, and the only requirements for consideration to be on this list is that you have to beat the S&P 500 over the past 10 years and have a dividend streak of at least five years. That's fair. That's real fair. If you're looking for a fresh take on a top five series you're not going to find anywhere else on YouTube, make sure you guys subscribe and tune in each week. But now, let's get into this week's list. This week's stock with the highest dividend yield is Community Healthcare Trust, stock ticker CHCT. CHCT is a quarterly payer in the real estate sector, paying $1.79 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 5%. CHCT has been paying and growing their dividend over the last eight years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 2.37%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 2.42%, and a payout ratio of 158.41%, keeping in mind that this is a REIT. CHCT has an ex-dividend date of May 11th with a payout date of May 26th, and CHCT only has history going back a little bit under eight years ago, but in the past eight years, not only has this stock outperformed the S&P 500, but it's also outperformed its real estate counterpart, stock ticker O. <gasps> Gasp. CHCT would have turned into $28,027.06, which is a 13.85% year-over-year return rate, which here on the channel we always compare to the S&P 500 that in the same time frame turned into $22,620.40, which is a difference of $5,406.66 in under eight years. This week's stock with the longest dividend streak is Parker Hannafin, stock ticker PH. PH is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector, paying $5.90 cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.82%. Parker Hannafin has been paying and growing their dividend over the last 67 years. They still have a three-year dividend growth rate of 14.76%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 15.05%, and a payout ratio of just 25.76%. Parker Hannafin has an ex-dividend date of May 11th with a payout date of June 2nd and a single $10,000 investment into Parker Hannafin 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends in return would have turned into $43,753.21, which is a 15.9% year-over-year return rate, whereas the S&P 500 would have turned into $31,430.73, which results in a difference of $12,000. $322.48 on the side of Parker Hannafin. One of my favorite categories I discuss each week is the dividend growth rates. This week's stock with the best dividend growth rates is FS Bank Corp, stock ticker FSBW. FSBW is a quarterly payer in the financial sector, paying $1 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 3.34%. FSBW has been paying and growing their dividend over the last 10 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 33.79%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 31.04% and a payout ratio of just 15.31%. FSBW has an ex-dividend date of May 10th with a payout date of May 25th and 10K into FSBW 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have turned into $42,818.30, which is a 15.65% year-over-year return rate. Once again, comparing to the S&P that turned into $31,430.73, which is a difference of $11,387.57 over the past 10 years. We're now a little bit over halfway through this week's video, and if you haven't liked the video yet, please consider making sure you're signed into YouTube and leaving a thumbs up to show your support for the video. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed with the bell rung so you guys get notified every time I upload new dividend content. Lastly, feel free to use the comment section down below to let me know if you have any suggestions for future dividend related content. But now let's get to these final two stocks. Another one of my favorite categories is the stock that has the best 10 year returns. This week's stock with the best 10-year returns is MSCI, stock ticker MSCI. MSCI is a quarterly payer in the technology sector, paying $5.52 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.14%. MSCI has been paying and growing their dividend over the last nine years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 23.38%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 28.22%, 
and a payout ratio of 37.49%. MSCI has an ex-dividend date of May 11th with a payout date of May 31st. And see if you can get this, a single $10,000 investment into MSCI 10 years ago while only reinvesting the money they give you in return would have turned into $158,300.63, which is a 31.8% year over year return rate. Again, compared to the S&P that in the same time frame turned into $31,430.73, which means you would have been $126,869.90 richer investing in MSCI over the past decade. Now you tell me. This week's stock trading the highest percentage off of their 52 week high is Green County Bank Corp, stock ticker GCBC. Green County is a quarterly payer in the financial sector, paying 28 cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.36%. GCBC has been paying and growing their dividend over the past 10 years. They have a three year dividend growth rate of 8.56% a five-year dividend growth rate of 7.26%, and I could not find a payout ratio for this one on the multiple websites I checked. At the time of recording, GCBC was trading 54.23% off of their 52-week high. Green County has an ex-dividend date of May 12th with a payout date of May 31st, and a single $10,000 investment into GCBC 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have turned into $49,378.77 which is a 17.31% year-over-year return rate. Again, compared to the S&P turning into that $31,430.73, which means you would have been $17,948.04 better off investing in GCBC over the past 10 years. As mentioned in the video, each of these stocks has beaten the S&P 500 over the past 10 years. All of these stocks have a dividend streak of at least eight years, and they all go ex-dividend next week if you choose to make the purchase. Let me know down in the comments if any of these stocks piqued your interest and what it was about that stock that got you excited. And if you missed it, I've had some great progress in my portfolio for the month of April. Check that video out right here. But until next time, see ya.